Anchor Exchange was an underground hardened telephone exchange built in Birmingham, England. Construction commenced in 1953 under the guise of building an underground railway. It opened in September 1957 at a cost of four million. It was located nominally on Newhall Street. However, its network of tunnels extended from at least the jewellery quarter to Southside. It originally formed one of a network of 18 zones switching centres within the UK telephone system that provided trunk switching facilities within its own charge group and to group switching centres within an area broadly comprising the West Midlands and Central Wales. It was subsequently augmented and superseded by a transit switching centre, TSC, equipped with a crossbar switching system, TXK4, which formed part of the transit network. It parented two of the three GSCs at Worcester and Wolverhampton to go live when the transit network was inaugurated in 1971, which eventually provided the universal UK automatic subscriber dialing, which was completed in 1979. The exchange is notable for being one of three, along with Kingsway Exchange in London and the Guardian Exchange in Manchester, which provided hardened facilities in order to protect communications in the event of a nuclear attack during the Cold War in the UK. A fourth centre was rumoured to exist in Glasgow, but no evidence of this has been found. In common with most civil defence structures of the time, it was designed to withstand an attack by an atomic bomb short of a direct hit. By the time of its completion in 1957, the development of thermonuclear weapons, with their significantly increased explosive power, would have reduced the ability to resist an attack. The public was told the project was to provide the city with a new underground rail network, but that by 1956 the project was no longer needed due to costs. There was an entrance to the rear of Telephone House between Lionel Street and Fleet Street, but there was a strict security check upon entering. This entrance had a heavy blast door weighing about two tons. Another entrance was on Newhall Street. To this day, this location is considered an off-limits and holy grail site to urbex explorers. So just to explain, the Guardian Exchange has air vents which pop up in different parts of the city. This room was one of those air vents and to stop a blast wave going down through the tunnels, this concrete slab was supposed to slide into position over the tunnel, over the air vent, and that would basically seal the tunnels in so that a blast wave couldn't come down and cause damage. We're in this crazy bunker. We've got Taffy. How's it going, Mom? We've got Brady. Yo. And you've got me, I'm saving Yippee! <laughs> Seriously, don't, don't be doing too much of that because uh, we, are, we are on borrowed f space and time here. No, it won't matter. Look at that. Yeah, hundreds of feet down, that is. And he's going to go and abseil to level two and try and get this, um, push this thing up, which well, is a bit we've hard. Kind of got it up, but we just need that little bit more. We just need that little bit of assistance from the replace computer. That's it. <laughs> B-Face is now going to abseil down. What a mad bastard. Give him, give him, you know, if anyone thinks B-Face is just a scrawny loud voice just look at what he's about to do now yeah. right because I mean like there there is a lot of people out there who won't fucking do this yeah. you know what I mean He's just about to go down, folks. Look at this. Do you want your backpack on? Yeah. Look at this. There he is, look. Look, look, look. How mad is that? There he is. 
Now that, that is what I call a fucking urbex. That, that is what I call a fucking urbex, folks. Fair play, well done. That's Mr. Brady over there. Look at this concrete block that, that comes across, comes across and blocks it in, you know. And yeah, and look, there's this bloody mechanism here, and it winds it. You push that, you push that like alarm button there, and it starts it. And there's a there's a ringing sound, ring, 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 ring. And you can manually look. There's the handle for manually winding it across. You could manually wind the concrete over, look. Oh, should we have a go? When, when he comes out, not yet. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> sure. <laughs> one. Are you there? Life jackets. You wind it up, do Wow. So you reckon it'll come up by itself? He's saying there's some sort of winding mechanism down there. Really? Yeah, he's winding it up. He's winding it up. It's coming on, look. No way, it's actually moving. Oh my god. So this is designed to not let people in, it's to let people out. This is not for people coming in normally. No wonder the keys aren't up there. Yeah. So what are these that we found? I don't know, somebody will probably, they're, they're homemade, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're homemade. You all right? Struggling. You'd think it would have like mechanical advantage to kind of. Oh, is it? So that there's got to be another way down as well, then. Try to open it now. Try to open it. See if. Yeah. Can, do you want to give it a go, Tav? Do you want to just lean for the bottom and try and pull that the bottom? Anybody? Shame we haven't gotten something like, like to stick underneath it, like a bloody crowbar or something. I mean, I've got my um, my drain lifters, but they're not the right size, are they? No. That's moving though. It did move. It did move. It did move. Yeah, it did. It did move a bit. Getting real, folks. It's getting really real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you, you know, you can just go down on the um, descender. So you won't have to do anything. You just use it as is. Comes. What's what's the setup down there like? Is it like rooms? It's like rooms that you can keep going down and down and down. No way. Yeah. Shit. We've got to get down there. This is the holy grail of holy grails, man. You know, yeah. people have done caution that haven't done this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So 
Right, and have a look at this, folks. Have a look at this. This is the concrete slab that slides into place over there. Uh, but have a look at this. This is the air ventilation thing. Look, right to the top. That's about 100 foot high, 100 feet straight up. Wow. Now why is it why is it put why is it tugged in like that? Oh uh, this the whole thing. Oh it's just a rope. Yeah. Mm. So you've got to feed that back through now, haven't you? So that you no, don't no, have a yeah. Have you done it? Have you fed it back through? So you don't you don't have a drop when you go off the edge? Oh yeah, no, I'll through. Through. yeah. He's ready to go. He hasn't abseil for years. It's been ages. The last one I did was RAF at Wood, right off one of the big towers. Um, and that was back in 2018. Right, test it. Lean back against it before you go. Lean back against. Yeah. yeah. Go Give it a good pull. That's it. Now. When you, when you go with these, they do say you've got to hold that up. Yeah, up, yeah, yeah. to go, and then the, or, the slower you go, or over the, the edge. Down. Or over the edge, yeah? Or over the edge. Yeah. And, yeah, and those those things are designed, when you let go, they yeah, stop. The thingy, yeah, so the more yeah. it's out... Have you tried the mechanism to see how it works before you attempt to go down? Uh, you've got to pull all the, way, it's all the way round, yeah, and that's yeah. it, you'll go fast. Yeah, so just and that slowly... Stop. Yeah, and if you go too much, I think it's, it clicks and it goes stops as well. So if you oh, go all the way back, to go all the way back and start again, oh. yeah, it's, it's like a panic mechanism because people tend to yank when they oh, fucking yeah. go and it makes them go faster. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right here he goes. Mad bastard. Stupid bastard. Mad bastard. <laughs> Wow. There he goes, folks. Right, hold on to the other rope. Hold on to the other rope. Yeah. That's the one you hold on to. You don't hold on to the main rope. That's the one you hold on to. Yes. That's it. And it'll start to go when you start to pull across the top. Ready? Any second now. There you go. Watch your, watch your, hand, doesn't, watch your hand doesn't get caught in the mechanism, yeah? You know, you can hold your arm out from a distance to rip, to feed in, yeah? Oh, let's see if I can see him. Here he goes. Epic. Epic. Absolutely friggin' epic. He's <laughs> just dangling it. Yeah. Go on, just keep going all the way down to the bottom tab. So this is where I had a brainwave and I realised that I've actually got my rope ladder, my homemade rope ladder, in the car. So I went and got it, brought it back, and this made life a lot easier because it meant we could climb back up without having to use uh, ascenders on the abseiling equipment. Right, I'm rolling. Let's get my freaking gloves on. Have you got the um, the uh, Littles bag as well? Oh, yeah, it's got one or two things that might be good. Batteries, condoms.
Yeah, are you gonna chuck it down then? You guys ready for this? Yeah, Yep. Go on. Yeah. You done? Yeah, two back up. One more. Well, two more in fact. Okay. Right then, folks, here's the madness. What? You want me to turn my light off when I'm climbing down in in place of your light? That yeah. sounds like a really good idea. I, I I think I'll go for that. Yeah. In in place of your light. That yeah. sounds like a really good idea. I I, I think I'll go for that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'll go for that. Great, great idea. Or, or. I'm down, boys. I'm fucking down. Yeah, boy. It, just be aware it kind of stretches a bit, so you've got to allow for the, the stretch play. It's just an empty room. We need, we, need, we, need, we, need, we need to see the empty room because we are. Oh, fuck. It's dropping it. What the hell is that for? Weird. Yeah, it's the only one. Maybe it's a filtration style. Yeah. Mm. It's like it's like the locked cabinet. That's that phone there, that hands up the phone. Mm. Well, it's a look this weird mechanism. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, yeah. Is it the carding now? Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That is a bit weird. Mmm. Okay, good. Shit. They thought it would be really clever with that, but it just don't last. Okay, you look coming down on the rope ladder. That puff does. They want to come down on the outside. No, we are. Why does this keep going off? Like a fucking retard. We outsailed it like men. We were big boys at that time. I put my panties on. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're recording again. Now we're in this sort of like weird area, which is uh, like a... Like a flat, like a... It's a catwalk, isn't it? It's a catwalk, yeah, I've just thought of. It is um, Brady. Climbing down. My old road ladder. Huh? Take your time, mate. Take your time. 
Some of them are quite big now, that's a small one, right? And then the other one goes quite big. Yeah. So you have to put your hands further down because that's a big one, so a double oh, length, there yeah, you go. Look. He's all right, he's a right. fucking monster, this guy. Yeah. And we'll pull it out from the wall a bit, so you don't get you just your tippy toes on it. So how do you close There you go. All right, all me. One more. And, uh, and then the floor yeah. after that. Next. So that rope ladder has come in quite handy. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, sorry. Eventually, Mr. Eventually. Yes. This drop by her, folks. Lots oh feet. my God. We, we've just got about eight um, sets of stairs, mate. Oh my God. To get down here. And then, how, do you, you how do you get round there then? Uh, you go through that door there, and then he jumped up to like the same height again. But God. it's like nothing there. Yeah. So if you want to go for it, you're more than welcome. So these are the steps down then, folks. All right. So uh, I suppose we've got to go back into um, weird climbing mode now, but... That's where the body one comes in handy. Well, I think my 360 is probably going to help here, actually. I'm just going to turn this one off and just use the 360. This ain't no um, air raid shelter in London, is it, with nice spiral staircases? Oh, is it? Mm. This is a manual type of one. Never been done anything like this before. Come on. This is it. Secret 
Don't you these lights work? No, we're not good. Um, we've got all these rations on the 222 and they're all charged. Yeah, don't pick out, you haven't picked any of your phones up again. No. Good. Not apart from that is connected. That's the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, it is what it is with this. I'm going to put my face mask on and uh, we just have to fucking do what we can to, you know, avoid being seen by the camera. What, when I've gone right up to it, not right into it? That's alright, you, you can take the fall for this then. Oh, yeah. We took it last time. Wow, running, running water. Be your face. Yeah. <laughs> Be face is providing all. It's quite nice. Wow, this is huge, man. There was a sign above the door and it says fire do not enter. Look, fire do not enter. Oh my god. Yeah, people won't hear us walking, but they'll hear us shouting. Yeah. So we've got to re re try and remember the way we came. Oh look, not an exit. What are these things then? What is it? What's down here? I can't see. Can I, anybody shine a light down there? Oh, it's just a small room. Oh, this is huge. Look, underground floors. Look, you can go down. Oh, shit. Turn the lights on. Look, that's to, that's to drop things down even deeper. That's to drop things into a lower floor. Huh. 
lower floors. Small room, doesn't, doesn't really do anything. Do you want to come in? Yeah. What's, down, what's downstairs then? Do you think there's any point in going along these corridors? Perhaps because they've been, they've had the, all the cables stripped out of them, they've just blocked off loads of the tunnels. It's another long tunnel. Just goes on for quite some distance. Yeah, but there's no, it's not lit up, is it? So. There was a movement sensor back there. What's that? Yeah, yeah. movement sensor at every, every reception. Shut Does that lift work? How far does it go down? Look, it's another, another stairway to the surface. <laughs> been tested recently. <laughs> telephone house. So we're, we're not actually underneath telephone house at the moment. Your nearest thing is shaft one. <laughs> this is mental mate, what do you oh, reckon? I've never seen anything like it. Is there a light switch for this? There we are, lights forward. Anybody had a look downstairs? Yeah, it can do. Can't see. Just the dead end. No, it's just another like uh, massive room. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get my torch out so you can see what's down there, folks. Really? If they've gone from red to green, he's saying, it means somebody's disarmed the alarm, which means they may be on their way in. Yeah, but look, it's flashing now. That one's gone red. Yeah, 
No, that's a power supply for emergency lighting. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't believe where we are. One's green. Yeah, like the very long range ones have changed to green. Wow. <coughs> Might be a sump house. It'll be where our water goes actually. What are these things on the floor? Are they like um, emergency breathing equipment? Yeah, you see how it's full of water down there? That's the sump pit. Yeah. What's all these things on the floor? Are they emergency, um, like, breather kits or something? Sandbags. Sandbag too. Right. So do you want to walk down these long tunnels? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? We're going this way, Taff. Wow. Okay, now. No entry to unauthorised persons. Let's get in there then. <laughs> there's a... There's a it looks pump. like a pump, like... Lift. And it connects to a, to a tank. Yeah. a big, like, water tank. It's a water tank. Empty, wa empty water regularly. Yeah, watch where you're standing, because it might not be yeah, fully on. Branch. And it's an it injector compressor on, so that's what it is. Oh, all right. God, it stinks down here. Yeah? Oh. Stinks because it's a bloody toilet. Look, it's toilets down here, folks. Mad. Proper plopper. Yeah, it's a bit slippy, isn't it? It's like gel on the floor. <laughs> it's like jelly. Wow. We're in a we're in a world we're not supposed to be in, folks. Oops. Yep, can't believe this. some sort of electrical equipment in here. What's that then? Switch room. And step up transformer. Step up. That's a black phone. Ooh. Spooky. Birmingham tunnel is telephone locations and number. Look, he's got the phone numbers for the shafts, look. So if anybody wants to ring the shafts, you can ring the shafts. Yeah, I wouldn't go touching him. <laughs> old, old pump rooms. Another set of stairs. <laughs> oh, these look like active, active um, cables. Look. No, it can't be where we came from. It's an adjacent tunnel. But these are high voltage, some of them. So I wouldn't go touching them. I wouldn't touch anything. Fire does not enter again. Yeah. And this is like a battle of that fire extinguisher. We've got all this drain pipe on the floor. 
Wow. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think people are, people are gonna not gonna believe this. Yeah, man. People have got no... Yeah, they probably designed it that way so it all runs to one point. Shaft seven, nine hundred meters. Shaft twelve, one thousand six hundred meters. Bloody hell! That's ridiculous. So we've already be, we've already come through the anchor complex then.
nice and exciting folks, isn't it? I tell you what, when we come to the next shaft, I'm going to probably say, like, let's call it. Unless, unless we can get out and we can walk back to the, um, the top. Because I think we could we could be going for about another mile, like this. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Sorry, man. What do you reckon? If we if we go to the surface, get back to um, where we were, then we're not going to bump into anyone down here, and we can collect our stuff then and go. Hey, that sounds good to me. Yeah, well, safety in it. We've got our footage. We've got we've got our footage. We're not going to be going very much further. So what you're saying is that when we hit the next exit, see if we can use it. And find out where the exit comes out as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, we're gonna find out now, right? We're in somewhere like Sunny Hill or somewhere like that. Fucking miles away. They're gonna be going, where the hell are they? <laughs> it's like Yeah. The last known location was about twenty miles that way. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the next shaft here. Wow. Here's the numbers again. Here's the numbers. We haven't seen it all yet, have we? No, but do you... It's just water noises. Right, do you want to... Was that a ladder to the surface? It's, it's a long way. Oh yeah, it's a long way. Well, I've got to... Yeah, because it's uh, a long way up, mate. Yeah. It's, 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 I can see it's not wide. Can you? Yeah. How many more sets of ladders do you reckon? Uh, I'd say about five. Oh, five. Right, uh, should, we just, should we just go for it? Go on, then. I know. Yeah, we can always come back down. If necessary. Well, what I'm thinking is if it's a fire exit, surely... You, you just push the door and you're out. But it might have a fucking lock on the outside. It's any trouble, we'll have to climb some fence or something. Yeah. Uh, it's got all my stuff right there. Yeah. 
know what I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go one more, so I'll have to also like one more and then you sit on this one. Yeah, I'm just looking at all these old telephone wires, like cut inside lead, lead stuff here. Yeah. And there's like thousands of wires inside one bundle. Turn the camera away. Where does it go? Can you hear them talking up there? court man This street. This is street. Oh, 
come out and the car park. What car park though? <laughs> Oh shit, how are we going to get out? Right, I'd leave that open. No. Ow. Yeah, Ow. Ow. It's just pirates initially. It's not that dark, eh? Go on, then. Just go for it. Jordan, before you go, wait till we're all out. Yeah, turn lights off when we go out so we don't look obvious coming out. Oh my god. Where are we? What building is that? What the fuck? Look at where we are! That's mental. We got out, boys. Well done. We got out. I can't believe that. So that's it, folks. You've seen the underground bunker. You've seen the extent. You've seen that the tunnels go off in various different directions, which are multiple kilometers for each spoke of the tunnels. And there are multiple of them. So. All the tunnels probably add up to maybe 14 miles approximately underground space, which is massive. And also, all of this was done under the guise of creating an underground rail network, which was never completed. So, what does that tell you about the British government and how they lied to the public? It says it all. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, don't like and don't subscribe, because we don't care.